How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the last thing that will ever happen by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I feel like I'm in like a time vortex or something, man, because like I feel like I literally just reacted to another In A Nutshell video, but like they seem to be like pumping them out like a lot. But like anyway, I'm just really excited, man. I don't care like if I have to react to them like every day. I, I will, man. I just love In A Nutshell so much, especially when the topic is like space and stuff like that, you know? And, and this kind of talks about space, you know? It's like, I'm assuming anyway, it's like the in the last thing that will ever happen. So I'm assuming it's kind of like when you wish for immortality, it's that that thing in the back of your mind at least for me anyway when i think about this wish you know it's like well when everything like dies because eventually everything is going to die are you just going to be like floating in nothingness like what is actually going to be out there when nothing is there you know like what's the end actually like so this should answer the question because like i actually had that question you know like i, I could talk about how like in a nutshell ask questions that I never even think about. Well, this one I actually did think about, so I'm really excited to get this going. So without any further ado, here is the last thing that will ever happen. The universe today is happy and healthy. It is? exciting things going on. I don't know about, like, Earth, but, at but some point, the universe the itself seems to be pretty happy. Dark. <laughs> Everything that once was will peacefully sleep forever. Oh, that's a but what peaceful way to think, think about it. Happen, and Not just it death. Be? It's like, yeah, it they're, they're sleeping. There is such a thing, and you probably haven't heard about it. Let's travel to the end of the universe oh. and look at the last thing. Let's go. Okay. Birth, our universe was a sleepy baby. Oh. Warm and dark, getting the whole time? filled with swirling clouds of hot hydrogen and helium. The story of creation is a story of this yeah, gas. I'll talk about it enough, it but the visuals up. are beautiful. Shortly after, the universe got busy making the oh, first hey. generation of stars. They syndrome were and, and lived busy. Lives, forging new elements only to release most of them when they blew up countless stars were born and the were universe man it's so awesome universe, especially the beginning matter around a lot of stuff happened. giving most of its gas and fresh elements to the next but not all gases returned every time a new generation of stars forms they also make hey. more and more red dwarfs that burn slowly and live for I was gonna say the biggest of boys, but oh when no, they die, they we discovered they are not. Back to the universe, but turn into white dwarfs. So red dwarfs lock up. I'm actually gas learning. Forever. I remember so all this stuff from previous videos. Forever in other remains of dead stars, neutron stars, and black holes. Black holes are my favorite, as it reduces the material available for new stars. Today, that's the what's cool, man. Like a great home for us, and energy is constant. So for billions of years, but most of the gas has been used up or trapped. Over 90% oh. of the stars that will ever be born have been born already. Oh, to get to the last that's thing kind to of happen, depressing. All other things need to happen first. Glass half empty kind of thing. The next few hundred billion years will be fun oh, and a great time for galactic <laughs> With exploration. A but step by step, large stars and stars like our sun will die out. Eventually, almost all the stars will be red dwarfs slowly I mean, dying. it's kind of scary to think about, the but man, it's pretty everything. to look at. But not quite. Ah. <laughs> In a few but not quite. Years, Had to the add that little. gas will finally have run out. About 88% of the mass of every galaxy will be white dwarfs, 2% neutron stars and black holes, and about 10% gas giants oh. and sad brown dwarf losers. What? White dwarfs are the corpses of old stars. Not much bigger than Earth, but on average, Whoa. as massive as half our sun, I some know. even much more. This makes them the third densest yeah, they're objects like the in the kings universe, of visualization. After stars and black holes, about a million times denser than the sun today. Since they used to be active stars, their surface can be as hot as 150,000 degrees. White dwarfs are dim. White hot, dwarfs are crazy boys that don't do anything. We just did anymore. discover this though. But eventually, even Whoa. white dwarfs will die <laughs> so because they're slowly losing their heat. It takes at least 10 trillion years, more than 700 times longer cool. than the current age of the universe. As they do their cooling With a down, tea. the trillion. universe around them will irreversibly grow dark, as more Whoa. and more white dwarfs burn out and turn into dead Again, husks. that's very dwarfs. depressing. Spheres of death, as cold as space itself, invisible against the dark backdrop. Ooh. Over trillions and trillions of years, every object in every galaxy is eventually either ejected into the void or its orbit decays and it will fall into the central black hole and be destroyed. Got it. In about a quintillion years, Them things all galaxies be the powerhouse. have evaporated and every object Sis. is on its own. Cut in the, the center of its too. own observable universe, emptiness as far as can be seen in any direction, traveling through black nothingness. See, this is Still, what I picture when I think the end of the universe. Black holes are dying, slowly. They'll 
shock fizzle away by emitting Hawking radiation until they're so small that they die in a final flash of light. Oh, bye! This will take about a Google years, 10 to the power of 100 years, Thank until you. <laughs> the last supermassive black hole dies. I was literally going to so ask how long that is, but I can't to. comprehend. Maybe some living beings could have survived around black holes, but even this science fiction option ends now. After oh. this unsettling okay. amount of time, no not even close to the end. Now is the time of the black dwarfs. It turns out there's some weird physics going on. This isn't on even my the final form. Of stars. The weird physics Let's of go. black dwarfs. I love a weird black science. Dwarf is a sphere the size of science in general. As massive as a star, but almost as cold as Behave. absolute zero. Stars stay alive almost because the exact of their option. intense heat and stars. <laughs> so why do black dwarfs Behave. not collapse into a black hole? What keeps them together? Deep inside yes. a black dwarf, matter yeah, is squeezed sure. to densities millions of times greater than anything we see on Earth. The pressure is so great that electrons can't combine with the nuclei to form atoms. Instead, oh. matter is weird, degenerate. The nuclei are compressed by oh. the weight of the star, locked what? into a rigid lattice, while the electrons form a plasma between them. And these electrons hold the star together. We're simplifying, but imagine matter as a subway train and electrons Thank you. as passengers. Okay. If there are empty seats, what passengers type spread of out matter they is care it? a lot about their personal space. But as a black dwarf is so incredibly dense, this is like squishing more and more passengers into our train. Grab sand is pushing in, trying to collapse it. Okay. The passengers are forced to sit and stand close together, which they hate. And so the passengers <laughs> who, who loves that? try to push out against gravity as hard as they can. This way the electrons are having a horrible time in the crowded train that's the black dwarf hold up the star. Everything else in the universe may have crumbled already, but these tiny oh, that's particles a convoluted way to explain until solid. the end of time. Or oh. they would, if quantum mechanics didn't ruin everything. <laughs> Simplifying a lot. When Let's go. Get close enough, sometimes Put quantum into anything, man, it gets wacky. Together, a process called quantum tunneling. Oh, let's go! This happens constantly in stars because of their intense heat. It's one of the key reasons stars confuse elements into new ones. But it also happens at a temperature near absolute zero. Just, well, mind-numbingly slowly. This Got it. is the final step to creating the last so interesting thing to ever happen in our universe. Took the words right out of my mouth. In this lone black dwarf, something it's fantastic like, yeah! occurs. We've Nothing only been for waiting trillion years. for Nothing trillions of years. <laughs> Can you imagine that? But then... A single fusion reaction. Oh. Two carbon nuclei combined by quantum Almost tunneling missed it from the wacky bird. Magnesium. Oh. Another what? 100 trillion years pass. It happens it's again. just memories. Then nothing for another bazillion years. Oh. Two oxygen nuclei combine into silicon. As eons pass, the Can I get this in oxygen not included? Dwarf slowly combine. Those would be very helpful. <laughs> new heavier nuclei. Nickel. And these take even longer to fuse. But Is given it enough making... time, they eventually will. Remember the Not universe, but is it making it its own like planet? Black hole to Resources, anyway. That's a brief moment in comparison to what's going on here. The difference between a second and trillions so many of zeros has lost all Losing meaning. meaning. Uh, Over a time oh. so absurd that it has no name, nuclei keep fusing into heavier elements. Until, when silicon nuclei fuse, they form nickel-56. Oh. Nickel-56 is radioactive, which means it's unstable. Oh. And when it eventually decays and turns into iron, it emits two positrons, antimatter electrons. What is and happening? These two positrons find two electrons uh -huh. and annihilate them and themselves, which is a problem. Remember how yeah, the why are they doing electrons that? produce the pressure to hold the star Not together. very comfy. Destroying the electron means fewer friends to help them hold up the star. Losing uh -huh. an electron does not give them more space to scratch their butts. It just makes gravity squeeze harder, the walls closing in on those that remain. Oh. In the case of the most massive black dwarfs, this is catastrophic. Bit by bit, the black dwarf turns into a sphere of iron, and more electrons are annihilated. It's dying in the slowest way possible. For at least 10 possible. to the power of 1,000 years, almost, but not quite forever, there's <laughs> no visible change in the entire universe. And then, finally, Hologram. the last thing to ever happen, happens. The black dwarf has lost one too many electrons. It can no longer support oh. its immense mass and goes into an uncontrolled. I wonder if it's instant like that. Supernova. Oh, at first it there it is. And then explodes as bright as a galaxy and fills the. I know. I. With light I will again. never comprehend this or even like proceed to think I'm going to see this. But can you imagine how pretty that would again, be? It's all over. Darkness again.
emptiness. That was but. the last <laughs> thing that will ever happen. That is the crazy, now man. Be truly dead. But don't be bummed out about it. This is By so Kurt far Secret away future. in the future. I actually, know how to spell it. Forever hardly Can't describes it. it. Today, the universe is the best place it could be for us. And that is you awesome. Can sleep tight tonight. Oh, let's go. The last interesting thing that will ever happen is forever long away. That's fair, man. Can't even comprehend how many zeros that actually was at the end there, dude. For now, there are still oh. plenty of interesting things to discover. And the Let's younger go. you start discovering, the more you'll understand about the world Who's our we sponsor? Live in. Our sponsor, oh, KiwiCo, no helps one. kids Kiwi get Co. a head start there. I heard the of y'all. Yeah, I almost gave it to my daughter. Covering science, technology, kind engineering, <laughs> arts, and maths. Every crate is like a little it's pretty adventure dope, in a box. though. Like, Imagine I actually was almost gave that to my daughter. Or an amazing Don't guys want to sponsor me, you know? Delivered to your doorstep with everything you need neatly packed inside. It's a pretty there good are program, different lines designed for kids of all ages and interests, so there's something for everyone. So like cool, us, man. Imagine making that stuff. Amount of time on fine -tuning each Perfect. crate. Every one of their 2,000 available projects took more than 1,000 hours How many to develop did you say? by 8,000 and is tested by kids. Hey! <laughs> we really liked the Kiwi Co. Tinker Crate line. Which gives you a hands-on engineering Robotics, man, with all it's of so the educational cool. and instructional information you need to complete the I project. I thought at Lego home. had it made we with might robotics. We also have decided to just keep some of them around the office and not hand the extras to any hey. kids. <laughs> if you want to try out KiwiCo and get the best, it's hundred percent how I'd do it though. Box or use the code Kurtz because okay, I got to get you this, but uh, it's fine now. First month. Or if you want to try it out first, they also offer individual crates in the KiwiCo store. Hey, I did not know that actually. We love to spark curiosity. And we love to work bird with power. companies that share this goal. Let's go. I got my Kurtz Gat bird and Uzi hanging out over there. <laughs> All right, man. So once again, a banger from Kurtz Gat, dude. I cannot get enough of their stuff. It's just, it's so beautiful. Like, legitimately, it is beautiful to watch. Like, I don't think I talk about, like, the animation, like, at all when I react to in a nutshell stuff even though i commented about like almost everybody else that I react to you know so like the animation is stellar man it's beautiful it is so eye appealing to watch like the entirety of it especially this one man when it's talking about like the cosmic aspect of this like when it goes into like the universe and talks about like the freaking in the dying dwarf star you know like when it's going around the freaking energons and stuff like it's energon that's transformers <laughs> But like, you know what I mean? Like the visualizations, man, are just freaking whack, like just out there, man. It's just very, very appealing to watch. And like all in all, like the, the stuff he talks about, like it's just so interesting. Like this one, I actually had the question, you know, like, well, what does happen at the very end of it? Like, are you just gonna float in a vast nothingness? And apparently you are like, there's just like, I want to call them like firework moments, you know, like every now and then like you get like a element with an element that mixes together just right to where something happens to where like anything happens in the universe where it's not just like a complete like nothingness of just black, you know, like it's just, I don't know, it's just, it still makes me think about like, even though I, re I like just now watch the video, you know, it just makes me think even more. And that's what legitimately like why I like in a nutshell video so much is because they like, they unlock that like idea in my head even if i had it before like it really really like improves on that idea and like makes me hungry for more to where like i will go out there and i will find more information about the subject that a video on youtube talked about you know like and i think that's beautiful like they take the time to like have bite-sized pieces for you to help digest and get you invested in the topic to you to go out and like further like do research and stuff on your own you know like it's it's just awesome man i love it with a passion so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe and the bell, become a member, you get videos a day early, and check out the merch. So that said, I have a master zero. That has been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later, guys. <laughs>